Hi everyone and welcome to Thai Native Gems. This is Darun Gupta here. So in today's topic, I actually want to discuss about how to price a half carat or 0.50 carat, one carat or two carat diamond ring. And what components we need to look at when we want to determine how much a ring will cost. So there are two components. There's a center diamond and then there's a ring making cost. The center diamond usually costs around 80 to 90% of the total cost while the ring making is another 15-20% of the cost. So how do we as dealers look at determining the, your cost of your ring when you present it to us? Um, I actually did go around YouTube to check about this topic and they did, there are a lot of good videos explaining about the four C's when we have to determine how much a center diamond should cost. The four C's are carat weight, color, clarity, and cut grade. And I'm not going to actually focus on that on this video today. I'm actually just going to show you like how we as dealers will calculate how much your center diamond will cost. And then also how much the ring making and the side diamonds and everything cost. So, and that's the, the main thing actually. And I, I actually think by just doing this exercise with you guys, I hope you guys could learn something from this video and how much it costs. Like for example, if, if you come to my office and you give me a 0 0.50 Carrot J color VVS2 GA certified triple excellent non fluorescent ring, which is set by a simple solitaire. Um, you will ask me how much will this cost? And I mean, we could do this by just looking at this price list, which is issued to us as dealers and wholesalers. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to share you this price list right now, and so you could take, actually see the process we will do to, see, to determine how much your ring will cost and then we will calculate the making costs so I, I hope you find this exercise useful and let's start the exercise okay so the price list which we get every week as dealers wholesalers retailers is called the wrap up or diamond report and this is how we quickly figure out how much your diamond will cost if you present to us in the office so this price list is issued every friday and it's a subscription based um, list so you have to subscribe to them and you have to be in the trade to get this list so they have two lists which they publish the rounds which you could see in front of you you can see read right here rounds or round brilliant cut natural diamonds and there's another list for pair pair list which is actually for all the fancy cut diamonds like cushion cut emerald cut asher cut marquees etc so that's another price list the reason why they're too priceless is usually fancy cut diamonds are cheaper than round brilliance. And that's because round brilliance is the, considered the gold standard for how a diamond's cut. And there's more wastage that happens in the cutting process. It's a different topic and a little more complicated. But anyways, they have two lists. There's a round one and the pear shaped one. So how does um, Rappaport decide like how much a diamond will cost? They actually have quite a strict criteria, which you could read up here. It's written, Round brilliant cut natural diamonds, GI grading standards per Rappaport specification, A3, in hundreds of US dollars per carat. So all the numbers you hear is, is hundreds of US dollars per carat. So what is the Rappaport specification A3? They have this on their website, which I'm gonna open right here. This is the Rappaport diamond specifications A3. So they actually had you know more strict criteria A1, A2, now then A3. So the diamond has to be with a grading report of GIA. Shape has to be round brilliant. Cut polish symmetry has to be excellent, 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 which we consider triple excellent. Culet has to be none. Depth is between 58.5% to 63.5. Table is 655. And you could read on that these are all the criteria the diamond has to fit to get into that, you know, to then for them to average how much a diamond of this criteria costs, you know? And they also have like no green tint. We actually have are a little more strict in terms of tint, of color tints. In our in the trade, we usually want diamonds with are no brown, no green or milky tint. So we call it no BGM. So, and they also don't include no marine diamonds so what are marine diamonds marine diamonds are 
and it are the diamonds with small scale diamond productions of these different places the reason why they don't include marine diamonds in the price list is because these diamonds are considered not part of the Kimberley process or in the trade they usually consider them as blood diamonds and they want to avoid diamonds coming from these sources because they don't want to sponsor terrorism and all these things and they, the diamond trade is trying to become more clean and ethical so that's why they don't include these type these diamonds which come from these mines part of the list and so okay so how do we use this list let's go back to the list so let's just go back to the example which i explained at the beginning of the video like a 0 0.50 you presented to me a 0 0.50 gia certified j color vvs2 triple x and none um, stone set in the ring so how do i know how much that diamond costs so i will go down on this list and first find the 0 0.50 these are all the, the carried weight you can see on top i have to find 0 0.50 here you go 0 0.50 to 0 0.69 carat then we have to look at the color so let's say j to d e f g h i j and bvs2 so this is flawless bvs1 bvs2 so j bvs2 is 26 which means we have to add two zeros because these are based on hundreds. It's 2600 per carat. And if it's 0 0.50, so we'll multiply by 0.50. So based on the price list, your diamond will cost this. But usually we, as dealers and wholesalers, will get a discount on of this. So it's on average, maybe like a half carat, you get at least at least 10%. So we say, okay, we got a 10% discount. So your diamond should actually cause 1,170, you know, based on wholesale of 10% discount based on the price list and this and that. So I could tell that, okay, your diamond is going to cost 1,170. I, I will not memorize on top of my head. Um, we actually done this calculation for you in our blog for people to quickly look at this, you know, and again, we made an assumption that the diamonds will have a discount based on wholesale. So like 50, 0 0.50 will have a 10% discount. One characters will have 15% discount. Two characters also will have around 15 pairs. So you go quickly look at a JVVS. Two is 1,200. The reason why this one's different than what we calculated is because this is based on the price list, which was the, near the latest, like September end. And the one we're actually looking at here is based on the price list of April 23rd, 2021. So you can see, like in our blog, you could quickly just look at this list and see, okay, my environment should cost around this based on these trade offs of color range and clarity range. All right. So let's just go back in the price list and just do another example. So, for example, I want a one carat uh, GVS2. So, how much? Will the diamond cost so okay here's g vs2 and you see a one carat this is one carat you can see the table is one carat so and we'll get usually get a 15 percent discount even more sometimes let's just say 15 percent so times you one carat you don't so you multiply by one but you know it's one carat then you get a 15 percent discount so the cost is seven thousand one hundred forty dollars of the diamond we should be able to get it wholesale. See, so we could do quickly get the price of the diamond just looking at this price list and then telling you. Now you will also notice that the, some of these numbers are bolded and underlined and the others are italic. They actually explain to you what these are. These are price changes that are bold. Higher prices are underlined like these ones and lower prices are in italics like these ones. So these prices have dropped for this particular week, week and these numbers have gone up. You can see like for other ranges like one and a half two carats sometimes it goes up sometimes it goes down so this is again based on market conditions supply demand like if people are demanding more diamonds or the supply is less or other way around so they keep adjusting the price based on their their uh, algorithm and system and they come see what the dealers are selling these diamonds for so now you understand like how we dealers get the price really quickly by just looking at the price list. And 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 you you could ask, actually just do that by just look, going to our blog and just reading this this thing below. So now let, let me add 
explain to you the next cost component of making a diamond ring, which is the ring setting. So, okay, let's continue with that. So actually another quick way before I explain the how much does the ring setting cost to check how much a diamond costs is just going on Blue Nile, James Allen, there are many US websites which you could go check and just click on diamonds and click for round, okay, for example. Then let's just look at the example we just looked at, like J color VVS2, 0 0.50. Zero point fifty five around and excellent because we we're looking at the wrap reports. Are excellent, excellent, excellent. No fluorescence. And we just go down, and you can see they're actually asking for a diamond GI certified one thousand thirty five. So that's actually a bigger discount. This is actually. When you go to Blue Diamond of James Allen, you'll not notice that they're really, really close to what we as wholesalers get diamonds for. So they're very, very competitive. And so this actually, by looking at the price list, and we knew the price list said 1,300, and this is like around 1,100. So divided by 1,300, you're getting a, almost a 15% discount. So, so see, they are also providing you the diamonds in wholesale. It's pretty impressive actually, like what the price is. So the really fast way of just doing what we, the exercise we just did as end user is you could just get this information online. Like, okay, I know I want this color, this clarity, this range. And you can just look at Blue Nile or James Allen. All right, so now let's just look at ring setting costs. Okay, so the next thing we have to look at is actually the ring setting. So I'm just going to our website of the rings we have made in the past. So the setting, sometimes you will see settings with no, no diamonds in the side, just gold or platinum. Or sometimes you'll see these side diamonds on the side. So this is all, of course, adds, you have to adds money, you know, and it costs money. So the first component, as we just talked about, is about the center diamond, which is around 80-90% of the total cost. And the next is the, the setting which you want to put the diamond in. So you can see these have side diamonds, these don't have side diamonds, blah, blah, blah. So how much does this cost? So I actually did a summary in this same blog article which you see up here. Oh, uh, like a simple solitary 18K white gold ring in this size will cost around US dollar 350. And you know what side diamonds will maybe cost this much, 550 to 750. And platinum it could cost this much. Platinum is generally is a little more expensive than white gold because it's more dense. But today, actually, they are quite the same because gold has gone up in price and platinum stayed down. But it changes again based on market condition. And with side diamonds, platinum, etc. Um, this is actually one thing that Thailand is more competitive than the than you know in the western world because labor in Thailand is a little more cheaper and the quality of workmanship is pretty good as you can see the rings we have made in the past year these are these are some of the rings we have made and you can see there are other rings in, on our website you can see the, so the side diamonds etc all rings when you go to Blue Nile and James Allen this is where they actually make their money like you think, okay, they're giving you the center diamond, really competitive. But then you have to set the diamond in the ring. So they, then they give you, the, you know, the ring setting. So the example I just gave you are four prong, like the, the one which is like this, four prongs, 18 guy bar. This will cost around three hundred fifty dollars. Let's see if they find a similar design. Yeah, this looks quite similar. Let's click on this. This is quite cheap, but this is 14K. We're looking at 18K. So let's just select a 18K. Mm -hmm. Change this to one sec. You have to compare apples to apple. So let's say 18K. Solitaire. Let's see if I could get a similar design. 
for Prom. So you see, the, here they charge 600, while in Bangkok it costs 350. So this is where, in Thailand and in Asia, you get it become more competitive. So you have to remember, there's always two co cost components in your ring. It's the center diamond plus the ring setting. So you please take that in mind, and then let's just, let's just look for another example with side diamonds. Dang. All right side stones like this is quite similar to what we have made and this one costs wow platinum quite expensive where is it and if you compare to what we've made like this one one second we made a similar design like this and this one on actually will cost us around 700 dollars to make and in blue now they're charging almost this isn't platinum but yeah in platinum maybe 800 900 but they see that they're almost adding another four five hundred dollars so that's how you know we in thailand and tiny native gems are a little more competitive compared to the u.s websites so that, that's why i keep saying there's two cost components there's a center diamond and the ring setting I also forgot to add another component which we actually have to discuss is actually how the ring was made. In James Allen, Blue Nile and all these US retail websites you see, these rings are actually mass produced and so the, their labor cost per unit per ring is actually much cheaper than if you have to custom make a ring. We at Thai Native Gems actually have to make the ring from scratch, you know, so we make the CAD, then we print the resin then we make the cast mold, then we inject it. So all those components actually add money. And once all this is done, we actually discard it and then restart it again, based on the stone, your ring size, etc. So this is your custom design. And these components actually cost money. With um, James Allen, um, Blue Nile, etc. on these e-commerce websites, they just mass produce the same ring over and over and over. And that reduces the cost for all these other elements which you have to add into it. So when you see a website online or you know how the ring is made, if it's custom made or if it's handmade, that costs actually more generally compared to a mass produced ring, which you will find in any retailer and shop. So please take that into account before, you know, deciding if the ring you're getting is a good price or not. Okay, so let's conclude this video. So in the end, let's just start from the example we started in the beginning. You just presented to me a GIA certified 0.50 JVVS2 simple solitaire four prong ring. So the di center diamond was around $1,100 as we just did that calculation by checking in Blue Nile and even from the wrapper part price list. And the ring making cost is $350. So total of that ring is $1,450. So, and then you could just start comparing with the other places online and just checking both components to see if you're getting a good deal or not. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And please subscribe to the channel and like it and give a thumbs up. Because it really helps with the algorithm. And it really helps us make more videos. So thanks again for your time. And I hope all you guys have a good day.